Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel today i am at cape canaveral florida and this is kennedy space center let's check it out kennedy space center or originally known as nasa launch operation center located at merritt island florida since december 1968 kennedy space center has been nasa's primary launch center of human spaceflight Launch operations for the Apollo, Skylab and Space Shuttle programs were carried out from Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex and managed by NASA. Located on the east coast of Florida, Kennedy Space Center is an adjustment to Cape Canaveral Spaceport Station. The management of the two entities work very closely together, share resources and operate facilities on each other's properties. And of course Kennedy Space Center got a visitor center, so everyone can come and visit this beautiful place, learn about the history of NASA, learn about the history of space programs, and learn about the history of Cape Canaveral as a space station, because not for nothing, uh, all major space programs were carried out here. Even today's um, major NASA and I believe SpaceX program Artemis, uh, which is like Return to the Moon, is happening here at Cape Canaveral. So yeah, it's very important place for NASA. It's very important place for space programs in general for all humanity, I would say. But um, sometimes people actually mistake in this place with Texas because you know that very famous phrase, Houston, we have a problem. Some people thinking that uh, NASA is actually doing all the operations in Texas, in Houston. But it's not true. In Houston, uh, NASA got only command center. Uh, most of the rockets flying from Kennedy Space Center, from Cape Canaveral. They do have some um, other facilities as well in Texas. They do have uh, another one is in Maryland. But this is the primary location, guys. So that's why they have pretty huge visitor center and you can see a lot of cool stuff here so if you're going to be visiting florida i highly recommend you to come here and visit this particular place because this place is impressive and not for nothing it's uh, very family friendly so bring the kids They also got an Apollo hangar, which is like about 15 minutes drive from main visitor center. And to get there, you gotta take a bus. And I gotta tell you guys, while you're gonna be on a bus, look out for the vehicle assembly building. This is the most famous building on this property. You probably have seen this building in the movies. You probably have seen this building in general. This is the major building. This is where they put the rockets together. And you're not gonna be able to stop at this building and take as many pictures as you want because, well, this is just an active spaceport, guys. You know, things happening here. They keep on building rockets. But watch out for vehicle assembly building. You're gonna be passing by this building and it's totally gorgeous. It's totally humongous. 
I'm telling you the size of this building is just impressive. But right now let's go see the Apollo. It takes about 15 minutes, uh, like a bus trip, but it's definitely worth it. So if you're going to be visiting Kennedy Space Center, hop on on that bus. And come see this rocket, because this is a real rocket, guys. It's not a model, it's a real deal. before this is a real rocket and uh, they actually built it for the Apollo program but it never went up there and they decided to keep it here and now you can actually see it as a part of you know as part of this museum and it's humongous it's truly humongous well see it for yourself Another pretty interesting attraction here at Kennedy Space Center, which is called Space Shuttle Atlantis. And we're gonna go check it out. Hell yes! Space Shuttle Atlantis is a retired space shuttle which belongs to NASA. Atlantis was built by a Rockwell International Company in Southern California and it was delivered to Kennedy Space Center in April 1985. Atlantis is also the fourth operational and the second to last space shuttle ever built. Its maiden flight was STS-51J, made from October 3rd to October 7th, 1985. The last flight was from July 8th till July 21st, 2011. 
By the end of its final mission, Atlantis has orbited the Earth a total of 4,848 times, traveling nearly 126 million miles, which is more than 525 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is magnificent. The shuttle Atlantis. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, I don't have to tell you that if you're going to be visiting Florida, come to Kennedy Space Center and check it out because, I mean, obviously, right? I mean, hey, it's very, very awesome place to visit and they got really unique things to see. Wow, awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you later. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.